Today we will be discussing about how to find the earthquake's epicenter using the triangulation method. These are the pictures of few of the Philippines' beautiful churches and their remains after a devastating earthquake. With this terrible sight, can we simply conclude that this place was the point where the epicenter of the earthquake is? Earthquakes occur along the breakage on the lithosphere called fault. When these pieces of the ground move, their movement is not smooth. Friction against these rocks causes this to get stuck. This causes pressure to build up. When this pressure is released, earthquake occurs. The point where the earthquake starts is called focus. Seismic waves race rapidly from this point. The point at the ground directly above the focus is called the epicenter. So how do we locate the earthquake's epicenter? Triangulation method is one of the techniques we can use in locating an earthquake's epicenter. This method will be needing seismic data from at least three seismic stations. These data are the arrival times of the seismic waves recorded by a seismograph. The speed of the seismic waves will be used to calculate the distance of the epicenter from each of these seismic stations. The intersection point of the three distances is said to be the earthquake's epicenter. Now how do we do this triangulation method? First, you need to obtain the recordings from three seismic stations. You can see in the first figure a sample of a seismograph reading of the arrival times of P wave and S wave. The figure on the right shows a distance time graph of the P wave and S wave. This depicts that P wave arrives first because this wave moves faster than S wave. Since these seismic waves have different arrival times, we subtract the arrival time of P wave from S wave. If you will be using the distance time graph as shown in the figure, you can easily locate the epicenter after computing for the time difference. For instance, if the time difference is 10 minutes, then the epicenter distance is 9,000 kilometers. If for instance you don't have a distance time graph, then you will just compute for the difference in arrival times of P wave and S wave obtained from three seismic stations. In this hypothetical earthquake shown in the figure below, the time difference is already provided for you. From a seismic station in Zambales, the time difference of the arrival of P wave and S wave is 24 seconds. Say this earthquake was also felt in Oriental Mindoro, and the time difference for the seismic waves is 10.4 seconds. For Camarines Sur, it is 26.4 seconds. For the next step, you will be computing for the distance of the epicenter for each of the mentioned seismic stations. The distance of the epicenter is equal to the time difference divided by 8 seconds and multiplied to 100 kilometers. Use this formula to compute how far the epicenter from a seismic station in Zambales is. This will give you an answer of 300 kilometers. Do the same for the other seismic stations. You will see that the earthquake's epicenter is 130 kilometers from the seismic station in Oriental Mindoro and 330 kilometers from Camarines Sur. The table shows the time difference and the computed distances from each of the seismic stations. Using the computed distance, you may now draw a line from the location of a seismic station on a map. Take note that this requires proper scaling to become valid. From a seismic station in Zambales, draw a line equivalent to 300 kilometers. From Oriental Mindoro, draw a line equivalent to 130 kilometers. 
do the same for Camarines Sur with a distance of 330 kilometers. Now draw a circle around each seismic station using the distance as its radius. Now, why circle? know that the earthquake's epicenter is 300 kilometers from Zambales, but we don't know where this 300 kilometers is, whether in this direction, or in this direction, or in this direction. To avoid confusion, we will draw a circle with 300 kilometer radius to show that the epicenter is 300 kilometers around a point in Zambales. We will do the same with Oriental Mindoro and same with Camarines Sur. You will notice that the three circles will meet at one point. The intersection point of the three circles is said to be the earthquake's epicenter.